So my mom was just out uh, garage sale hunting and she found these roof racks, which are the exact same one as Chrome has on Van City Van Life. So that's kind of cool. I'll probably do the same thing and I'll drill a hole through here and put a big stainless steel bolt through it so I don't have to go around racking it with a hammer. <laughs> But anyways, I got a new transmission pan with the drain pan drain plug in it. I got the new transmission fluid so I can refresh it. I got a new filter ready to go. But the gasket they gave me was the wrong one. It was for an AL60-E transmission and I have the uh, 4L80-E transmission pan. That will have to wait till Monday. So I ordered that up. That'll be here on Monday. I was also at the uh, Lord Co and I picked myself up a 100 amp load tester because there's no real way to actually do a resistance test with one of those those like simple you know $20 battery testers that I've got up there in the corner. So what I did is I bought this 100 amp load tester for 20 bucks and I'm going to test out these batteries. So what I did on the first ones, which you can see I've already got them all fired up and ready to go charging. I tested all of them. All of them are good except for this one. I'm not really too happy with this one. We'll see, we'll see. I, that one might end up going in the car. It seems to be the uh, crappiest one. Okay, so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my voltmeter, this little box here, take my negative, my negative read on the voltmeter, like so. So I've got my voltmeter here. Okay, so that's all set up. The voltage is good, so we're going to do a three second load test. If it goes into the yellow, that means it's no good. Let's test this out. One, two, three, 12, 11.9. That is good. I'm happy with that. So I'm going to disconnect it. Same thing. One, two, three. That's pretty well 12 volts. Knock that down. Point eight seven. This one's a little low. One, two, three. Eleven point nine. Okay, I'm gonna disconnect this and get rid of it. Cause it's hot. I don't want to accidentally touch the leads with the metal box, cause that won't be very fun. Okay, we're done with this. I'm gonna take it away. Now let's get these batteries fully charged. So all of those batteries are good, except for that one. I'm pretty happy with them. They all check out. They're all good. They all hold a load. So I'm just gonna let them stay on the charger for a while. I kinda just wanna load up the solar panel on the car and just take off. <laughs> camping, go fishing, get out of here. It is hot. I don't want to be in a house stuck all summer or whatever. And I don't want to be working in the heat either. I want to go play and enjoy sunshine. But you know, things can, things need to get done. So we're going to wait. Thanks for coming along, along with me on this uh, little adventure today just my batteries and trying to get my van working but those roof those roof racks i would love to get those mounted on the van right now and just play with them but you can tell we got a bunch of rust to take care of first and the entire roof paint is flaking like i just I just tore this piece of paint off the roof of my van. Like, what the heck? <sighs> so we're gonna get some of this paint cleaned off and hopefully get a nice coat of new paint on here because this paint is not going to last at all. <sighs> oh yeah, and the rain gutters here, they've got like a little layer of rust, so I wanna get in there, clean it up with a wire brush, 
and put some rust converter in there, paint over top of that, and then I'll put my roof racks on top of that and we'll be set. So thanks for coming along guys. Please like, comment, subscribe, leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching, peace.